We are continuing our platform build for the yurt, and we're on a critical stage, pouring the cement footings. This is the big step we've been nervous about. Cement is the one thing you can't easily undo if you mess it up. But we've carefully measured, dug holes, and are ready to get moving. All right, so here we are at the yurt site. But today, we're taking these tube forms and putting them in the holes that we dug last time, putting rebar in there, getting everything all set up. To pour the concrete, you need to install sono tubes into the holes you've dug. We ordered 18 inch ones from our local hardware store. They came as these huge 12 foot long tubes nested within each other. So it took a couple of us to separate them. And the holes claimed a few more victims. All right, there's the first uh, tube form in there. The yurt's gonna be very tall. We cut the sono tubes down to 30 inches using a circular saw. 24 inches to go into the ground and six inches for above ground. By the way, sono tubes are fun. I will birth you from this. <laughs> he is reborn. This is the um, this is the Skaniwa cult birthing ceremony. Ba this is how you get baptized here. The local cats even like them. Hey, cat! Don't do that. Rude. Once we had the sono tubes cut to size, we placed them in the holes and went to work getting them positioned perfectly. Using a level, we straightened the tubes one by one, then filled in the dirt around the outside edge to hold them in place. We picked up some rebar from the hardware store and cut three 24 inch pieces for each tube. Using wire, we attached the rebar to each sono tube so that it hovered inside, evenly spaced, not touching the ground. It took a small crew of family helpers to get all of the leveling and rebar placement done. We are so grateful for all of their help. All right. The helpers have left and we have our tube forms in the ground. Small problem. <laughs> There's four of them that just when we were digging with the auger, it must have kind of bucked a little bit, moved just a little bit too much. So there's a few of them that I'm actually gonna move. So I need to pull it out, kind of chip away at the side, move the hole and shift it all the way over. So Daniel checked the alignment of each of the saddles with the square string lines to verify which holes he needed to shift. He worked his butt off redoing four different footings completely. But in the end, he got everything moved and perfectly aligned, ready for the cement pour. All right, so we are getting ready for the concrete to come over. They should be here in about a half hour. But what we just did is set final exact lines over these tubes of where the saddles are going to go. We took some lines and went straight across at a level and over where the joists need to go, we set these, these little ties and used <laughs> We used my makeshift plumb bob. I took a a little uh, a padlock and with a string so that we could use this and drop the plumb bob down and make sure that it, the, that we put the line directly in the right spot. So we have the lines exactly where they're going. And now Amy is drawing on the sauna tube with pen where these lines are so that when we set the, the saddle in it, they'll be in the perfect spot. Here's the saddles that are going in and how they're going to go. Why we don't have a this direction. And we're going to butt right up against the line. The concrete truck arrived ready to go. We used Cal Portland, based in Morton, Washington. They were so helpful, and it was so nice to not have to mix all of this cement on our own. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Hole by hole, we filled them up with concrete, assuring that the rebar stayed in place and that the concrete packed in nice and solid.
All right, so now what we're doing is we're putting these brackets right into the cement, moving it around so that the cement kind of forms right around it. And we're lining it up right along there. Amy's going around, making sure that they're straight up and down. The deer were very curious about the whole situation. They hung out with us most of the time. Daniel and my mom, Amy, finished off the final placements and leveling of the saddles in the classic Pacific Northwest rain. All right, so here's the very rainy final result of the cement pouring. We got all of the brackets or the post bases in. Had to put the names, our names and our pets' names into all of these. Amy put her hands in it very nicely. This is deep water. <laughs> Here is the end result. The next step is framing. We've ordered lumber for the frame and SIP panels to finish off the platform in a few weeks. Then we will be ready to raise the yurt.